exactly one week uh, off uh, when uh, Baby Rex uh, got uh, hit by a uh, phone uh, thrown at her on her uh, concert tour in uh, New York uh, and uh, which uh, concert goer uh, threw uh, his uh, phone at her just for attention and uh, luckily he was uh, dealt with uh, and charged and awaiting trial two days later Ava, Ava Max uh, got uh, slapped by a concert goer in Los Angeles uh, when she was uh, performing uh, at a concert that, per that person who slapped her, he was, uh, we don't know his name, but he got thrown out and by security. And he was dealt with. And now, at the BET Awards, uh, that, that just happened uh, this uh, weekend, uh, on Sunday, June 25th, there was uh, some uh, tension between... Uh, City Girls uh, rapper JT and uh, rapper Lil Uzi Vert on uh, public uh, at the awards uh, show and uh, while there was them arguing it turned into a scuffle after JT allegedly throw, threw her phone at uh, Lil Uzi Vert and uh, due, during a heated exchange between the two which uh, well, people in the audience were watching as JT uh, hurled a explosive uh, at the little UD bird call, calling him a fucking bitch and a groupie. And following the argument, the City Girls rapper uh, left uh, with the scene. Uh, Where uh, someone uh, tweeted on their uh, Twitter account, uh, Give me my phone, bitch. Don't even try to play with me. Why JT clock you usually with their phone? OMG. And now I've deleted a video of, uh, uploaded to a BET's TikTok page. I add more curiosity to the situation. It showed that you know, they were talking to a visibly, visibly distressed uh, JT. Whether the discussion took place uh, before or after the dispute room is unclear. What the captor, caption reads uh, What do you think uh, Yuzi told JT? Despite the uh, public uh, discord, the uh, pair uh, seemed to have been reached uh, an understanding by the night uh, and uh, for Spotty leaving an event. Uh, and together, sparkling chatter of among fans about the uh, cause of the dispute, uh, much of uh, the speculation the centered about a photo of a little Yuzi Vert uh, seated next to Ice Spice during the show, uh, which uh, Ice Spice uh, shared a snapshot of uh, the two uh, on Instagram that JT liked. What uh, added fuel to the fire was uh, Little UD Vert's uh, unreleased song where he debuted during the event, uh, which uh, contained a uh, lyric mentioning the uh, Bronx rap rapper. I'm fucking dog, uh, dog shit out of this uh, bitch. Her wig came off twice. Uh, she had a little fro. She looked like Ice Spice. Despite the fire exchange, uh, JT has often expressed her affection for uh, UD Vert, uh, shielding them against uh, just detractors on numerous occasions. Uh, on the, in October 2022, uh, she led off a series of tweets uh, defending the, the little UD Vert's uh, belly button piercing and decision to go by they, them pronouns. Uh, in April, she uh, came to Lilio uh, Divert's uh, defense, uh, respond to a fantastic critique of uh, 
the rapper's attire, which is compared to the bride of Chucky. But due to the behavior that uh, that JT of uh, from the uh, City Girls, uh, she should watch her behavior because uh, what happened to Baby Rexa uh, and uh, what happened to Ava Max was. Uh, was unacceptable and uh, should not be done uh, to uh, anyone uh, at any concert or music festival or performance or and while uh, the attacks on uh, Baby Rexa and uh, Ava Max uh, was done by a concert goer which we know uh, that's after the Of uh, Baby Rexa, uh, Nicholas Malavagna, 27 uh, year old from uh, New Jersey State. He did it to uh, get, get attention, and we don't know the person who did it to uh, Ava Max, who uh, luckily got thrown out and was dealt with. Uh, and luckily, uh, unlike Baby Rexa, uh, Ava Max continued performing and singing and dancing. And it just uh, shows uh, how uh, ill-mannered uh, JT is. Uh, especially if it was at the BET Awards, which is a big deal uh, to uh, anyone who is uh, basically uh, is, uh, under the category of African-American, African-Canadian, uh, uh, or call themselves black or even uh, people who are dark skinned uh, which uh, they are the, under the BET uh, category for the BET awards uh, every year and the fact that JT and uh, And little you divert uh, have been on and off uh, as a couple. It still uh, does not uh, give her the right to just uh, act uh, poorly, and it just ruins her image of uh, thinking that uh, she could just throw things around. Uh, which, if it was uh, done privately um, and people didn't hear about it. That would be one thing, but then she did it on stage. It just makes her look like uh, a bad woman. And not someone you should be considering as an influence. Or someone you should look up to. Especially what happened uh, last year with uh, Will, Will Smith uh, slapping Chris Rock over... Uh, G.I. Jane joke, which uh, was not, which wasn't even an insult, as most people took it, and it just ruined uh, Will Smith's uh, acting career and banned him from the Academy for ten years. So if uh, there was a problem between uh, the two, uh, they should have kept it private. Instead of doing it on stage where everyone who is uh, considered black can see it and see how horrible a uh, person that JT is. Uh, and uh, make uh, like little you divert uh, look like a, another person who just got recently hit by something. Or by someone, especially the fact that one week ago Baby Rexa got uh, hit with a smartphone, a cell phone thrown at her. Ava Max got slapped on two days after, and now we have this. 
And this has been uh, on uh, the music news. Uh, everyone has heard about it. And uh, no matter what, but uh, she does, uh, and if uh, she uh, uses like uh, curse words uh, on stage, it still uh, makes it ruins her image of uh, looking looking like an immature brat. So it is just another bad day uh, at the music industry uh, with another person uh, acting very poorly at the wrong time on stage. And unlike uh, a concert goer attacking a singer, it's a singer attacking another singer just because she had a poor choice uh, uh, and should have done uh, what they uh, did not have done.